out with the iron. Drifting back on the breeze, and that is A1. Beautiful. You could watch that swing all day, every day. That is just a delightful shot. That is just so pure. And the course turns for this third hole and goes in the other direction, playing south. There are some things in life you never get tired of watching. One of them is Louis Oosthuizen's in swing. The other's, the other's actually watching you at the buffet, Dale. I never get tired of that. <laughs> Beautiful tee shot from Louis Oosthuizen in the air at the third. Just a little sand wedge into this hole. Green slopes from back to front, so it's going to stop quite quickly. He judged it. Wow. I'm in near the umbrella. You'd the think you would have walked yeah? up there and just made a note that the ball's going to turn to the left when it spins back. <laughs> A lot of people would give that putt, but Hachi would never. Hachi never used to give any putts. Oh. Louis Oosthuizen, he's had a fair number, and it's downwind, downhill, so probably on and to as long as the hole is, but he'll need a very good lie to get home from there. Talent required. Pretty much all he could do from there. Hit to a little bit more to the right. Uh, 180 yards today, this one. Slightly uphill. And there's another grand shot. Excellent. It's a better type of stroke for the left to right. There's not a big follow through. And you can see it just popped it on the line, and there you are. But it tried to get out, didn't it? But it did. Did its best. Well done, Louis. You can see him really opening up the face. Going to slide this one. Stay with it. Get the weight with the slope. Often didn't that grip as well coming out of the rough. Put a cat amongst the pigeons here for Oosthuizen. swing and what a golf shot. Louis out with driver. 487 yards of it uphill. <laughs> Doubling away to the right as John said. Oh. Is he going the long route or is he going to go the low route and bring the ridge into play? Ah, he's going the long route, pitching on top and let it release. Right idea. <laughs> Not particularly happy, but hardly bad. Yeah, just got away from him. Good tempo and great tempo. That, that was fine, I thought. I think he likes it. Come on up, you come. Unlucky. Just one little hop, and that was golden. We saw from Shaper's bunker shot just how fast this is down here. Oh, he, oh, no. It looked so good for so long. So, comfortable birdie, moves to nine under. He has not dropped a shot in the two rounds to date and done it so comfortably gone. Only player in the field not to drop a shot so far in the championship. Aiming this one outside Shaper's marker by a couple of feet. His pace has been excellent throughout the week. And this is perfect. Oh. Well, 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 I think that is desperately unlucky. Look, 
Pablo Martin. Ouch. First bogey of the day, first bogey of the week, I'm afraid, for the defending champion who slides back to eight under, two off the lead. Oh, this would be welcome, wouldn't it? Pat has gone a little bit cold. You know, we saw this at um, the Medbank Challenge at Sun City. Had such a good opportunity to get that win under his belt. And suddenly on the last day, the putts just, they just wouldn't go on the ground. But he's eight under, couple behind. You think he's not going to be knocking on the door on Sunday? Oh, yes, he will be. Two under today, eight under for the tournament. What's your thoughts on today's round? Oh, very frustrating. Um, he did probably as good as I can edit and um, just didn't make any putts. Uh, I feel like I'm eating decent putts. I just uh, I, I started doubting my lines and then um, one or two bad, bad strokes. But, uh, you know, it's still fine. It's, I'll be probably three, four behind maybe going into the weekend. So um, it's fine. It's, uh, it's a good spot to be. Conditions out there today a little different to yesterday. Yeah, a little bit windier, but still, I think there's still quite a bit of birdies out there. Um, the greens are running good. I just, um, I didn't see the lines very good today. So, uh, I'll go and work a little bit on the green now and see if I can figure it out. Like you said, um, go, you're going to only be two or three behind the leaders tomorrow. Um, what's your game plan going into the weekend? Pretty similar. Um, I'll have the same game plan and, um, you know, try and give myself as many birdie putts as possible and and uh, hopefully make a few more. Good luck this weekend. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.